I've just gone to change or add another room to my automations for my Roborock vacuum cleaner in Home Assistant. And it looks like there's been some quite positive changes to the way that you do the integration. So I recorded a video probably two or three years ago now on setting Roborock up and getting it integrated into Home Assistant. And to be quite frank, it was quite a cumbersome, difficult process, but it seems significantly easier now. So what I want to do is just spend a few minutes doing this video, just showing you how it's improved and what you can do to get um, automation set up using your Roborock vacuum cleaner and home assistant to automate jobs. So what we'll do is we just, I've gone into home assistant. Um, this is the Roborock integration that I've got already set up. So you'd obviously need to have this in place already. I'm just gonna have a quick look at the documentation so if you scroll down to how can I clean a specific room, um, we need to follow this guidance here. So I'm gonna go into developer tools, actions, Roborock get maps. So let's have a look at that. Get maps, Roborock get maps. I'm gonna select the vacuum cleaner that's already there integrated and perform action. So I mean, this is worlds apart from where it was before. If you've seen my other video, you had to um, turn on debugging, download log files, search through log files to get this information. Now it's very, very easy. So the room that I've added is bathroom, which is 19. So I want to now create an automation to basically clean that bathroom. So let me just show you how I do this at the moment. So it doesn't look great on here, but this dashboard is for my mobile phone. So at the moment you can see one, two, three, four columns, but on a mobile phone, it's kind of all on top of each other. So it looks much better. So I have to take my word for that, or I might try and show you an overlay of how it looks on the phone. So I've got this um, button here or section here. If I click on vacuum, then again, it takes me into... Um, lots of different buttons that I can click depending on what I want to clean. Um, so if we have a look at the jobs, for example, so when I click that button, any buttons, let's have a look at this one, for example, um, it toggles this button and kicks off that automation clean kitchen dining room so if we have a look at that for example let's have a look for clean kitchen dining room there we go open that so this, this is the automation that it kicks off so um, when the state is changed in any way on that helper yeah on this helper so if that helper is changed in any way so basically toggling then this will trigger or it'll trigger automatically at 8 30 at night uh, i've got a little helper override there so if i'm on holiday then i might not want the um the automated vacuuming to take place i can just toggle that helper off and it won't run and I'm only kind of doing this on a Saturday, Sunday, Thursday and Tuesday. So this is the interesting bit. So down here, this is what we want to replicate. So um, let's create a new um, automation. So let's go into my dashboard first. Get here. So I'm going to add a new one here. Let's just see if we can copy this to save a bit of time. So, da -da -da -da, show name true. So if I do that, control copy, control V, and then go back to there. There we go. So what I need to do is create another one of these but for the bathroom 
So if we go back to helpers and so we're going to create button name clean bathroom icon is vacuum vacuum we'll do it the same as that one and there we go create clean bathroom it's the same okay so let's go back to the automation we're creating where is it yeah this one so this will be clean bathroom and name is bathroom icons the same uh, so it should all be the same now so yeah I'll come back and sort that out later so that's the button added and the toggle okay so that's now added there so what I need to do is now create the automation so what I'm going to do is let's find one that's a bit more straightforward so this is my son's one of my son's um, automations to clean his room. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate that and we'll go through it. There we go. So when we're going to change that to bathroom, bathroom, any state. In fact, let's get another copy of that open just so we can make sure I'm doing the right thing. So we'll go back to automations and go clean and Jack's room. Compare this then. So we've got, yeah, any state menu on his bathroom, any state. So that's fine. So we've got that the same, same. And then we're going to perform the action. Send command, da, 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 da. And it was 19. So based on what we saw in the developer tools, the bathroom is 19. Yeah, so 19. I'm going to get it re repeat it twice. I like it to, to go over everything twice. And then it does like a nice hatch effect rather than just going across the room like that. It does that and then kind of goes up and down like that. So you've got a good clean space. Um, so that should be done. In fact, I've changed the wrong one. New automation, this one. 19 there we go let's come out on that one I don't want to save it don't save okay so that is that one done so if you want to have a look at the YAML there it is I can save any of this code into my github repository if that's of interest you're going to do this from scratch. Let's do vacuum, uh, send command. There we go. Send command, and then you do target Roborock. That's handy. And then for the command, you want this app underscore segment underscore clean. I know I've got it in here twice, but I just want to show you if you were creating it from scratch, exactly what you'd need to do. And then you'd need that bit of code in the parameters piece and tick the parameters box. So it's going to clean segment 19 and it's going to do it twice. So let's just prove that works. If I delete that, delete. So we can save that now. Save, we call it clean bathroom. Save. Okay, so let's have a bit of a demo then of this working. So I've split the screen into two parts. So over here, I've kind of put a slimmed down version of um, a web browser. And this is kind of what it would look like on my phone. So from the home screen, I can click on vacuum and then it'll show a number of buttons here that I can click on to clean the room. And then in the background here, I've just put up the um, Robo Rock integration into Home Assistant. So hopefully, we can, as I click on the button, we can see things being initiated. And I've also got the vacuum cleaner right here. So hopefully, you'll hear things kick off as well, just to prove that the 
automation works and it is nice and simple now compared to how it used to be. So let's click on bathroom, which is the one we just set up. Hopefully you heard that. You can see on the screen it's changed. I'm just going to stop that quickly before it starts doing anything. But you can see on the screen here it's kicked off the job. You see the job being kicked off? Bathroom. Yeah, there you go. You can see. Yeah. So you saw, essentially saw it change to, to cleaning. So trust me, it's gonna to go to the right room. It knows which segment to clean from the map and we're good to go. Um, as I said, just a quick video. Hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching. If, if you liked it, like and subscribe and I'll do more videos. Thanks for your time, bye for now. Thank you.